guys! This is your Tita in China and today we're back with a new skincare video. So last month we had retinoids month and this month we're going to do lipids or fats and proteins in skincare. In particular, we're going to talk about ceramides, peptides, and collagen and what they do for your skin. This week we're going to talk about ceramides, what ceramides are, what they're good for, and who needs ceramides. But before we move on, as usual, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Emmeline and I am your Tita in China. I upload skincare related videos as well as China related videos. So if this is something that's interesting to you, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you will know the next time I will upload a new video. Also follow me on Instagram, Your Tita in China, where I share product reviews and a lot more interactive content with my followers. So if you have any burning skincare questions or if you want to see product reviews, hit me up there and I will get to you as soon as I can. So without further ado, let's Let's talk about ceramide. Ceramides, peptides, and collagen are essential in our skincare because they help with barrier repair, skin barrier repair, as well as anti-aging. They are proven skincare ingredients and they deliver results that you can count on. Not a lot of local Philippine brands have ceramides and peptides, but a lot of local brands do sell collagen, especially oral collagen supplements. But even if it's not very common in local brands, since there are a lot more online sellers offering brands from overseas like CeraVe, for example, it has become easier to access ceramides or ceramide-containing products. Ceramides are lipids or fats that are already found in our skin. It is in high concentrations in the uppermost layers of the skin. About 50% of the skin's composition is actually ceramides. So it definitely has an effect on how plump, young-looking, and wrinkle-free your skin actually looks. It also determines how your skin is going to react to environmental stressors like UV, pollution, and also internal stressors like hormones and just basic stress. So think about your skin as a brick wall. The mortar or the cement around the bricks, the stuff that sticks them together, those are ceramides. And by keeping the skin cells stuck together, ceramides create a layer that protects the skin from moisture loss and damage from the outside world. So in short, Ceramides are an important component for your skin barrier and it guards against transepidermal water loss or TEWL. Having a sufficient level of ceramides on your skin means that your skin will remain young looking and plump and deeply hydrated. So while we learned that retinoids are good for the skin because it stimulates the body to produce more collagen, ceramides actually do a lot, if not the most, of the heavy lifting when it comes to keeping the skin hydrated and plump and young looking. Ceramides and collagen actually work hand in hand because it is actually the ceramides that keep the moisture in the skin and prevents transepidermal water loss. And that is also what keeps the collagen intact in our skin. A healthy skin barrier also means that the collagen in our skin is intact because what's the point of using retinoids for example to stimulate the production of collagen but we have a very damaged skin barrier and we still end up over drying our skin the effects of having more collagen is it's for nothing so we shouldn't just focus on collagen all the time but also making sure that our skin barrier is intact and we do that by making sure that we have enough ceramides on our skin. There are two precursors for ceramides and one is called the phytospingosine and the other are called spingolipids. You don't really need to remember these names, there's no pop quiz at the end of this video but it might be helpful for you to at least be familiar with these names because a lot of products you might not, they will claim that they have ceramides but when you look at the ingredients List, you won't see the name ceramides so it's good to be familiar with the words that are associated with ceramides but you don't really need to like seriously remember it so yes the body does produce its own ceramides but now you might be wondering so if the body is producing ceramides why do we need to add more into our skincare routine and the answer is simple and it's really just because we need to help the body get more ceramides into our skin there are a lot of behaviors that we cannot help but do or be faced with that actually deplete our ceramide levels for example UV rays, um, pollution, um, stress, also behaviors like smoking and drinking which is really bad for your skin and your health overall, cleansing, harsh products that actually really dry out your skin. So with all of these behaviors that we have, we might experience a compromised skin barrier whether you really feel it or not. It might already be there, it might already have started but you don't really feel it. 
So that's the reason why we need to supplement the ceramides in our skincare routine. The ceramides in the skincare products you see in the market all either stimulate the body to produce more ceramides or add ceramides already directly onto the skin. In skin, there are nine different ceramides but we consider ceramide 1, 3, and 6 to be the most important. And these ceramides also come in different names. Now, of course, the ceramides from 1 to 9 are all important but most commonly, you will see ceramides 1, 3, and 6 and the different names for them in your skincare products. So a quick rundown, ceramide EOS is ceramide 1, ceramide NG and ceramide NS is ceramide 2, ceramide NP is ceramide 3. This is actually the most common type found in skincare formulations because it signals the production of ceramides by the body. Then ceramide EOH is ceramide 4, ceramide AS is ceramide 5, ceramide AP is ceramide 6, ceramide NH is ceramide 7, ceramide AH is ceramide 8, and ceramide EOP is ceramide 9. And as I've said earlier, spingosines or phytospingosines also are precursors for ceramides. And if you see that in your skincare product, that means that the product also contains ceramides. So should you use ceramides? The answer is a resounding yes. It doesn't matter what skin type you are, ceramides will always be beneficial for you. If you want to maintain healthy, young-looking, strong, and resilient skin, then ceramide is really something that you need to maintain in your skincare routine. And this is because any skin type can actually benefit from ceramides hydrating and plumping characteristics. And this is because ceramides are known to maintain your skin barrier and you need this whether you're oily skin or dry skinned. But especially if you have sensitive skin, this is actually going to really help you because ceramides also helps make the skin more resilient against sensitivities. Best of all, you can layer ceramides with pretty much any active and it actually plays well with any active that you can think of. And actually, it's a very good companion to actives because when you have actives in your skincare routine, the most common problems that you will face would be irritation or peeling, flaking, and that's just part of the normal um, skin turnover that many actives help your skin do. So if you're going to add ceramides, it actually soothes your skin and helps your skin um, heal faster and relieves some of the discomfort that active ingredients can give you. And this is the reason why in my retinol video, I actually mentioned that ceramides are one of my most favorite combinations with retinol products. Products. So what should you look for in a ceramide product? It completely depends on your skin type. If you are an oily or normal skin type, then ceramides that are in serum form or in gel form would be best for you. For example, there's a Beehydra from Drunk Elephant or the Unscented Buffet Serum from Purito. Or if you are more on the dry side, then you will really appreciate using a lot of the ceramide creams that are available because these creams are formulated to be thick and quite occlusive and it really locks in all the moisture in your skin so that you will get some relief from the discomfort of dry and sensitive skin. So as an end note, we have also oral ceramides or ceramide supplements. And just like collagen, which we will discuss later on in the month, um, this is actually not really proven to increase the ceramide levels in your skin, but it does seem to increase the hydration levels of your skin. So while it's not really a no-go for me, I am more convinced of using skincare or topical skincare when it comes to ceramides than taking an oral supplement. But of course, as usual, the choice is up to you. So that's it guys, that's our video for today. I hope that you found this informative and I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and share this to your friends who are also skincare buffs. And as usual, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the comments down below. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram if you have any burning questions that you would like me to answer. Thank you for watching guys. See you next time. Bye! Shout to Jen!